Ten years ago, almost to the minute, the North Tower fell. On that awful day, 2,983 innocent lost their lives at the hands of the lunatics. Osama bin Laden and his followers celebrated the death and destruction and yes, the chaos that followed that fateful day. They actually thought they had inflicted a mortal blow on the United States of America. I'm sure in their warped mind, they believe that today, 10 years after the attack, our country would be a shell of its former greatness. You see, despots and dictators and terrorists don't understand the spirit of America. They never have and they never will. They don't realize that when a people are free to worship God, educate their children and speak their mind, an energy, a resilience, a fortitude is created that only grows stronger when it is kept. Let's admit it. Before 9-11, we had all become a little complacent about our democracy and about our freedom. We took for granted that we are the greatest democracy in the history of mankind and just presumed it would always be that way. Immediately after 9-11, a new made patriotism, a unity of spirit, and American pride sprang forth from our people. Let's today recommit ourselves to fostering that same appreciation of America and all that it stands for. We must never forget, not just the tragedy of 9-11, but the unique hope that this great land of ours holds out for generations yet to be born. May those who lost their lives on 9-11 and those who continue to suffer illness and loss from 9-11 find peace and comfort in the loving embrace of God. And may we who always, may always continue to commit ourselves to keep our country strong and free. There, there will always be those threatened by our freedom and our success. We must remain vigilant, but we must never be afraid, because you and I know they will never succeed. Let us never forget 9-11. Let us always cherish our freedom so that those who gave the ultimate sacrifice on that fateful day will not have died in vain. The United States has a pride history, but the best is yet to come.